another battle report where Britannia face orcs and goblins. And for my deployment, you see on the bottom right there a trebuchet. Then on the hill, you get a unit of nine nine tyrants with a paladin in there. Then a unit of nine knight of the realm with the fey enchantress, uh, PSB, and. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, the damsel is with the knight tyrant with the, uh, the paladin. Uh, the one with the red lenses. Behind that you've got 34 men at arms with a damsel on foot. You get then 8 questy knight full command and a trebuchet on the bottom left corner. For magic boss damsel gets a wizard wall form, the fence interest gets throne of vines, uh, flesh to stone, regrowth and the dwellers below. Orc deployment, from the left you get 10 uh, orc on boars, or wolves, I guess boars, yeah, orcs on boars, sorry I don't know orcs very well. Uh, on the hill there is a spear thrower and a doom diver. There is then a unit of 39 uh, black orcs, and in there is grim gore. Iron hide, yes, Grim Gore, uh, nasty, nasty guy. In front of them is a unit of 50 Night Goblins. And next to the Black Horse, you get a unit of big guns, 39 of them, in, and in that unit you get a hero, I assume BSB, Orcs. In front of them is three trolls, and then behind the forest there you get a unit of uh, 15 or 20, yeah, 15 Squig Herd. Next to them is a second spear. Thrower and a second Doom Diver, and in front of the Doom Diver is a unit of 50 goblins, just standard goblins. And here you can see better the um, vanguarded Pegasus Knight. Orcs win the toss and go first. So he moves his unit forward, I don't have a picture of that, sorry about that. Um, but then he goes into shooting phase, he's got no magic, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, shooting phase he sends his doom diver into my lance there and gets two kills the second doom diver goes into the peg knight and gets one down the spear checker tried to get a good shot at the um, my trebuchets but i think he he hit one and fell to wound the other one um, but yeah doesn't do anything in the end so that's another turn for Britannia turn 1. I decided to try long charge with the Pegasus Knight onto the, um, the Doom Diver because he killed one of my model. I can just fit in the two models there. Uh, there's a 9 inch gap between the two big units of goblins. So I do, but I fell. As you can see, I, I rolled a, a 7, which is average. But uh, yeah, it's a shame. I just needed a 10, I think. But there you go, they sit there. In magic, the Fenchant Trust uses a Kalis and gets Wind Blast. I push away the goblins. I then get uh, Throne of Vines and Flesh to Stone on the Fenchant Trust land. I end up then failing to cast Regrowth. I wanted to uh, regrow the unit there, uh, but get Dwellers Below. I cast uh, the Dwellers Below on the unit of Big Guns and kill about 5 or 6. Oh yeah, and on the left hand side, I didn't show that before, but um, he moved his fast cav uh, orc boars boys, uh, and I tried to block them with the questing knight, and doing so, I pivot through the forest, and then was one guy already on the way, so not good. But I forgot the fast cav; they can reform indefinitely, so at least I stopped him from charging this turn, which buys me another turn of shooting. The plan being, there's so much... Uh, combat on this side, I need to weaken his big units of orcs, especially, and stay away from the goblins. I assume one of them has the uh, the fanatics. So yeah, that buys me another run of shooting. Orcs turn two. He fails animosity on his unit of goblins on the, his left hand side of the table, and has to charge the closest unit, which is the Pegasus Knight. Um, hidden blessing in a way because it's better they charge than the uh, the squigs, uh, but we'll see how it goes. And as predicted, the fast cav goes around my uh, blockage, they cannot charge this turn at least, and they get ready to charge next turn, which, um, yeah, I'll give him away the, the trebuchet, I guess. In shooting, his spear checker tries to get um, the second trebuchet off, 
but uh, fails to hit. And the one on the left fails to wound on the questing knight. One of the doom divers tries to get the trebuchet on the left, but scatters off the table. And the second doom diver misfires and is out for two turns. In the combat phase, uh, <laughs> the Pegasus Knight don't do very well. They take two wounds, but they stick. And that's the end of Orc turn 2. In my Britannia turn 2, uh, two big mistakes here. I I know he's got, he must have fanatics in that unit of Night Goblins, so I move the Questing Knight 8.5 inches away, uh, ready to charge anything next turn. But then, magic phase, well, I didn't move anything else. Yeah, let's put this I'm waiting, I, I need to weaken his army, so I'm standing and shooting and magic him down. Uh, the only thing that moved were the Questing Knight. So, magic phase, the Fae uses a Kalis, gets Wind Blast again, and stupidly, I use it on the Night Goblins. They hit the, um, the building, gets a wound, which is awesome, very useful, but that makes them move within 18 inches of the Questing Knight. <laughs> and of course, that starts the, um, the fanatics to come out. They come out, they kill five models, I passed my panic test, but yeah, that wasn't good. That was a very, very stupid thing to do. But there you go. Listen, learn. And then I'm thinking, I've got regrowth, I've got Throne of Vine, I should be able to, you know, heal that unit of Questing Knight, uh, mend my mistake, but I roll double one in Magic Phase. Fortunately, I get one channel, and the fake gives me one dice, so I get four dice, but I try to stick to the plan, and not change my priorities, so I cast um, Dwellers Below, on the, um, the big guns, and I irresistibly cast it, which is great. So I pass my Throne of Vine 2 plus save against miscast, um, but that means that the Questing Knights are down to two models, and I couldn't choose any dice on to regrow the Pegasus Knight either. In the shooting phase, first trebuchet uh, scatters away from the big gun, the second trebuchet hits, and we kill about eight orcs. In the combat phase, uh, the Pegasus Knight and the Goblins, the Pegasus Knight kills a few, the Goblins uh, don't do anything, or I pass my wall save, and the Pegasus Knight passes his, uh, I think it was a 5, uh, more check, uh, yeah, 5 break test, and he passes it, so we're good. Holding the right flank. Orc turn 3, the Fanatic dance, the uh, Ball Riders charge, of course, they make it, and one of the fanatics dies. His unit of night goblins make it into the men at arms. It's a long charge. I didn't think they could, but they did. The trolls as well. Again, long charge, but they did. There you go. I, I'm not too worried. I've got um, a champion and two characters on the front, but uh, they could vomit, which could be a problem. Shooting, he tries to get the trebuchet, but fails to hit. Rest of the shooting is irrelevant, so going to combat phase, he uh, puts a wound onto my Pegasus Knight Champion. I do a few wounds, but he's got too much combat red. He runs me down, of course, <laughs> uh, being caught up by foot soldiers with flying units is great. But uh, yeah, he runs me down, but stop one inch away from the tower. To be expected, the uh, Boar Riders kill the Trebuchet crew. And the goblin combats with the mana arms. He kills five mana arms. I kill two goblin. Uh, and the fa the damsel is in a challenge with the unit champion. I didn't want her to get attacked by uh, nine or more guys. Uh, she takes a one. But we stick. We are stubborn. We have more rank than these. Well, steadfast story. Combat with the trolls. Um, my characters go to town. The trolls. Vomit on my characters, but I think he didn't wound roll to one or I pass a save or wall save. Anyway, he didn't get any wounds, uh, they flee and I run them down. So, yeah, it put me in a great position. So I charged the Fenture Interest Lens uh, to the right hand side of the big end unit and I tried to get the Knight Errant with the Pegasus Knight with the, knight, uh, the virtue of the Impetuous Knight, which gives him plus one d6 on the charge for his first charge with his unit. So I roll 4d6, I keep 3 plus the 8. Unfortunately I don't make it. I should have made it. 
it, it should have happened. I think I rolled six, six, and a one, so it's very average overall on the 3d6. But um, yeah, it's a shame. I, I, I would have wanted both units to be there simply for the fact that I need to protect the flank of my general's unit, uh, and there I've in. I've been threatened by the, um, the Black Hawks to be charged next turn, so I need to do something, probably need to break and run away far enough so he can charge me next turn. In Magic, I get Throne of Vines and Flesh to Stone on the French Entrance unit, so they are Toughness 7, which is great. And you can see at the bottom left of the picture, they are just the Questing Knight charged the flank of the Night Goblins. The plan here, again, is uh, to use the French Entrance regrowth on the Questing Knight uh, to pop them up just before combat and get models back. Shooting doesn't do much, I think we kill a few of the Black Hawks there with the trebuchet, but in combat I made a big mistake there, it should not have happened. I, I make way with my fan Chantress now because she's a different uh, base size, she's not allowed to make way, uh, but I played it this way. The, the idea is that I wanted to do spiteful glance, they have low initiative uh, for the combat res. I don't think it would have mattered much, but uh, this is how we played it, and I apologize for that. Between my characters, the champion, the unit, the charge, and the enchantress, uh, we kill every all but one orc, uh, which I think was the um, the BSB. Oh no, the BSB is killed by the by uh, by the lens. Yeah, it's killed by the lens. So. He breaks, he flees, and I overrun. I believe I rolled an 11 on the overrun, and luckily enough, it seems, and it was, far enough so his unit of Black Horse couldn't charge me. Very lucky on this one, very fortunate. Um, again, the, the fact that the French address was in front would not change the issue of the combat. Um, the, yeah, his orcs would have been... Uh, been gone anyway, there was enough combat res for him to break. Orc's turn, um, no charges possible for him, so what he does, he's, um, he's rolling back and reforming, or reforming and rolling back his um, unit of goblins, so that they face the center of the board between the tower and the forest there, and then he moves his unit of squig herd past them, as you can see there. The unit of night goblins, I did forgot to mention that, they won the combat and they run the men at arms and the damsel down. Uh, they reform to face the um, night terrans there and the boys on the ball get closer just behind them on the left. The unit of black hawks just uh, reform to face the, um, the fey enchantress unit. He uses his magic face to dispel Throne of Vines, and shooting phase is shooting at my various units, but doesn't get to do anything. Briefly on turn 4, and I'm in a bit of a pickle there. Um, so, I'm decide not to charge anything. If I charge the goblins on the right there, I will show my rear to the Black Hawks. Um, I, he will have Steadfast on me. It's highly unlikely that I break him, so I will stay there and be charged in the rear next turn, and my unit will be dead. Um, I well, charging the Black Hawks, there's too many of them. There's, I'm not going to do anything, and then his Goblin could charge me in the rear, which is not happy happening as well. In hindsight, 2020, maybe I should have charged his Goblins and let his orcs charge me and then I could have done something with magic, uh, with shooting and maybe charging his rear with a fair enchantress. So this is not what I do. So anyway, I put, uh, I, I moved the fair enchantress unit in a way that he cannot charge me this turn with his um, black orcs, but I can potentially charge him next turn, charge him, the goblins or the night goblins if they move closer to the swamp there. And then I shifted the knight errands to the right towards the tower. Um, they get me in range of charge from the squig herd, and I can still be charged by the goblins, but I'd rather take the goblins in the face than the black horse. 
in the magic phase I get Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt the Black Hawk, get a few down. Uh, I then get uh, Throne of Vines, Dwellers below on the Black Hawk, a unit and I put Stone to Flesh on the Night Terrans, expecting them to be charged by the Goblins. The Thunderbolt and Dwellers below kill about rank of the Black Hawks, which I'll take, you know, this is a start. And then in the shooting phase, I'm trying to maybe break if I get direct hit 21, goblins potentially dead, and you know, get to break test, make them flee, make the squig hood flee. But no, I, I miss, I, um, I think I miss, no, I scattered away. There you go. In his turn, the orc player moves his uh, orc boys on boards closer to the trebuchet for a charge and a swift uh, destruction. He moves out his goblins, and I think it's because he failed a charge with the squig herd, so he did not think he could hold my uh, lance in one turn. I think he would have been able to, given the uh, only the two first ranks would have been able to attack on my side. But he puts them there, so they have to be charged if... Um, they, yeah, they probably can make me charge next turn, and he can counter charge with his squig herd, and his night goblins on the left of the screen. He then reforms and uh, rank and file by five his uh, unit of black horse to face the French entrance unit. And he puts everything he's got in terms of shooting at the French entrance unit and kills three knight uh, of the realm. They have to take a break test, they pass. The goblins have short bows and kill one knight errant. And clearly that's not gonna be enough. Britannia turn 5, I charge the Fan Chantress in the rear of the Goblins and I charge the Night Errant in the front of the Goblins. I mean, that's the best I can do, I guess. I then cast Throne of Vines on the Fan Chantress, uh, Flesh to Stone on the Night Errant, and I get Harmony Convergence with the Kalis, which I put on the Night Errants as well. They have uh, the biggest number of models, so statistically it's better for me to reroll ones with them. Oh, nothing worth mentioning happened in shooting. He loses by loads, uh, doesn't do anything in return. Um, I mistakenly, I don't know why, I decide to overrun with the Night Terrans and with the Fen Chantress. The Night Terrans roll 9, which is enough to catch the Goblins. The Fen Chantress rolls a 10, which is enough to catch the, uh, the Goblins, but puts me in the arc of charge of the Black Hawks. So, I won over a bit of a duh moment there. Um, of course, you know, in a competitive environment, maybe I would have spent the time to think about this, but there, I guess we're pressed by time. Excuses, excuses, excuses. No, it was badly played for my part. Um, I believe we played it correctly in terms of movement and trays. I, I put the Fey, uh, although the Knight went over and first, because the fear was on the um, the back of the unit, I moved it first. So I don't know if it would make a difference. Anyway, she, uh, she her unit rolled higher than the unit of Night Errants when it comes to overrun, so I put them in front and the Night Errants stuck one inch away behind the, um, the French entrance unit. Tell me if uh, this is done wrong and or if you have any comments with regard to the, the, the charge and the overrunning of a unit which has been charged on its two flank. So of course, Orcs turn 6, uh, Grim Gore, Ironhide and his uh, big unit of Black Hawks charge the Fench Entress. They kick her butt and her unit and um, it flees. It flees away through the forest. They pass their dangerous terrain and he decides to hold for some reason. Nothing else worth mentioning happened in that turn. So, yeah, possibly we were pressed by time, so that's why uh, we were a bit rushing. So in my turn, uh, the Fench Entress and her unit rally, uh, turn around, and she casts Spell. Because that's what she does, and she does it pretty well. She gets Throne Wise back on, which was dispelled by the Orcs. She casts, uh, she uses the Kalis and gets uh, a 6. So the Kalis is out of power, but um, we get Chain Lightning out, and I kill a few orcs with that, and then I cast Dwellers below. It's cast irresistibly. I pass my world save. I basically cut his unit in half. He's got 21 models left, which makes him do a panic check. 
which it does. So Grimgo and his Black Hawk units are panicking, uh, and that's the end of the game. So, <laughs> a bit unfortunate, when I mean, clearly he would have overrun me. Maybe he catch me, maybe he didn't, but at least you know he had the chance to uh, to kill or negate my magic phase. In this case, um, I mean, I, I think I lost because uh, I, I said I lost because I played terribly. I, I didn't feel like taking the win on this one. Um, and I realized after the game that the French Chantress shouldn't have make way. Not that it matter much, but still it's important. Um, however, you know, some comp you take the points from fleeing units, some comps you don't, uh, some you take 50%. So as we stand in terms of points, um, if that unit is taken into account, then for my victory, then I get 900 points more. If it's not, then he wins by about 300 points. So he said he wants to call it a draw. I think he on me. I think he, um, uh, he he uses this very well. I played terribly, did the wrong charge, did the wrong move, did the wrong overrun, put myself into danger, <laughs> which was really, really stupid if I think about it. Oh, how I play. Oh, I'm so upset. Anyway, um, at this stance, so... The, the variance on this list is I changed the bowmen with the um, with the men at arms, and I realize with this list I have nothing to take care of the chaff. Whereas with the bowmen I can put the bowmen on the 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 boars orcs there the uh, boar riding orcs take care of them or at least protect my trebuchet and leave them there. With the men at arms. No, and of course against other MSUs, the mana terms are terrible. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not too keen. Now I'm thinking about the Fey as well, so I played her in the second rank this time. It was a bit better. Uh, it didn't change much, especially since I used her to make way to get the Spiteful Glance hits. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I like her, she's fun to play, I mean, she gives me free stuff, she's a very good... Um, Army and answer, uh, but it's 545 points. I, I think I still play. We'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the terrible mistakes I made. Sorry for the games. I hope the battle report does not reflect that. It's a bit more, more uplifting and that you enjoyed it. As always, please leave any comments and suggestions below. Thank you.